Okay, so the first card is you need to ask for some divine help and guidance. Uh, there might have been an ending of a relationship that you went through and there was a third party involvement, it seems, that caused the ending of this relationship. In the past, it said your luck was changing, uh, but there was um, obviously a lot of arguments and hurtful words. So things seem to have gone a little bit wrong uh, and you had a lot of arguments and hurtful words and that might have led to the ending of the relationship. So going into the future, it says use your charms in order to find things, to seek things, uh, to find something better. So you need to use your charms. And if something better comes along, you do need to take a chance on it. So a need for you to you to take a chance, to have some faith and, uh, you know, use your charms to get through things or get through to this person that you might be attracted to. So that's the general energy read for that, those two weeks. So I'll just draw some cards for the main read. So you've got the Temperance card over here, which talks about healing from a situation that you have gone through. Uh, you will need to take some advice, listen to what people have got to say um, as far as, um, you know, giving you good advice. There are people that will give you some uh, tidbits of information that will be very helpful in you uh, seeing the situation in a different light and being able to overcome um, problems. You will be meeting new people as well. You can see this woman's got a hand out. So you will be making some new friends, but also there are, there are things that people are going to say that's going to allow you to heal from a situation that you've been through. So you do need to heal from it and you need to take advice. So you've got the 10 of candlesticks over here um, and you've got the eight of cools. So you were involved in a relationship uh, that was really burdensome on you. There were, you know, a lots of um, pressures that came from people on the outside, uh, you know, and you were also feeling very restricted within that relationship. You've got the eight of cools over here uh, and, you know, not being able to come out of a situation that you felt really trapped in. Maybe you felt that you were very, be you're being dominated quite a bit or being told what to do and, um, you know, being restricted in how you could do these things but that seems cycle seems to have come to an end you've got the ten of candlesticks and that is the end of that kind of restriction that kind of burdensome situation that you were in so in the past year you've got the ace of candlesticks and that's beginning something new a new venture that you may have begun so you may have started off a new relationship uh, or you may have um, you know decided to start off a new venture start something different uh, and then that has led you down, uh, along a different pathway so in the past three months, you've got the five of quills. There was a lot of a, um, you know, harshness being spoken uh, between you and the person that you were involved in. Harsh words were spoken. Uh, a lot of mental uh, pain caused by this person. You can see this person's cutting their hand over here with a knife. So, you know, these things that the person said to you or your uh, significant other said to you was very, very hurtful, very, very nasty. Maybe they humiliated you within a group situation, made you feel really small or insignificant, uh, you know, in front of your friends and family. So they, they really, you know, ha had a go at you in front of everybody else uh, instead of just doing it in the privacy of, you know, in, in privacy, you were, um, you know, almost publicly humiliated by this person made to feel really small and miserable by this person so you want to walk away from that situation it seems like you know you've made up your mind you are going to leave it behind with six of quills you're going to leave behind all these problems because after the five of quills comes the six of quills so you are you have gone through the situation of the five of quills where you've been uh, you know publicly humiliated uh, been hurt, uh, you know, maybe this person lauded things over you, but now you are planning to move away from it. You want to go away from it. And it looks like you want to end the cycle with this 10 of rods. You find it quite bur burdensome. Uh, you can see there's also groups of people over here. So whatever burdens uh, or whatever this person uh, caused, whatever pain this person caused in your life, they didn't do it in private. It was done publicly. So it was done in front of everybody. They made you feel small and miserable in front of everybody and your restriction. And, you know, they were telling you what to do as well, keeping you on a tight rope, if you like. So going into the future, you've got the Lady of Candlesticks. So maybe they've sent you some sort of message. Something has come in for you, um, you know, and it has made you decide, you know, um, so it seems like you may have um, broken up with this person or you are going to be breaking up with this person and you're getting your independence back. 
Um, they might be trying to communicate with you again, send you letters to try and get you back into the relationship again. But it seems like you will be standing your ground and deciding not to go back. Um, you can see she's getting letters, receiving notes, but she's still you know, by herself now. So you are going to be taking a stand and speaking your truth and, uh, you know, deciding that you're not going to be giving in. She, um, the Lady of Candlesticks is like the Queen of Swords. So you have had enough right now and you are taking a stand for what you believe in. And you are following your intuition. She's got her cat here. So you are following your intuition and you are doing what you want. So you will get your independence back. And what's going on with you? You've got the Ace of Teacups over here. So a brand new beginning a brand new cycle coming in for you as far as emotions go. It looks like you will, um, you know, start something new. You are going to leave behind that old cycle where you were dominated and you are going to start something new. You're going into a new emotional AF, um, stage at the moment. And what's going on around you? You might end up meeting somebody at work with the two of coins, a decision having, to, uh, you know, be, you're making a decision about this, moving on and finding a relationship that is much more financially stable, something that you can, uh, you know, be equal with the person. And so that coming in for you. Also, maybe going on and socializing a lot more, meeting people more on the business front uh, in order for you to meet people. And that's probably what's going to be maybe going on for more office parties and things like that, where you end up meeting people that you work with or people that are on your level so you are worried that you know um, you don't want to get into a situation where you are dominated against again you can see this is the devil card this person is dominating everybody in the room over here so this person that you were involved in was quite um, you know quite a bully really uh, you know they had everybody uh, at their beck and call you can see this person's down on their knees in this card so that person had everybody bowing down to them doing whatever they wanted to you know they they restricted this, restricted you quite a bit, lauded themselves over you, held you in almost like a cage. You know, this is like, uh, you know, where you're not allowed to say or speak your thoughts and you don't want to get back in that situation again. So going into the future, you've got the Lord of Candlesticks, the Chariot and the Seven of Candlesticks. So it looks like, um, you know, um, you might end up um, meeting somebody um, who is much more, um, you know, of... Um, a higher status, if you like, somebody who is very, um, uh, speaks their truth, says what they need to say, uh, and is very, uh, you know, much in charge. That looks like a person that might be coming into your, into your arena soon. Somebody who takes control of the situation, very energetic, somebody who says what they want, they're go-getters, and that might be somebody that you will meet soon. It looks like you're moving home as well. It looks like you're moving away from that situation pretty rapidly. This woman is on a horse, and it's going to make you very happy. So it looks like this person that you will meet, this Lord, Lord of um, Candlesticks, you can see this woman is on, on the chariot, but she's riding towards this person, the Lord of Candlesticks. So it looks like a new relationship coming in maybe with this man, um, this Lord of Candlesticks, and that's going to make you pretty happy. It looks like there's a there's a home move for you as well. And, uh, you know, it looks with the Seven of Candlesticks, you are going to be telling the person that you are involved with, um, you know, you are finally telling them to get out of your life. You can see that with the Seven of Candlesticks, she is had enough right now and she's showing them the door there. So this person that you're dealing with right now, it seems like you're not going to take that anymore. You've had enough of this person and it looks like you're telling them that you've had enough and you're going to tell them to really get out of your life. So you're taking your stand and you're not taking it anymore. You're, you've, you're finally standing up for yourself and you're telling them to get out of your life and you're moving away from that scenario very quickly um and you know you it seems like you might be moving towards this man the the lord of candlesticks and he seems to be somebody you know who is uh very energetic very vibrant and somebody who's going to make you pretty happy as well so it looks like you are going to eventually get out of the situation or that's what's in your mind because you are going to tell this person to get out of your life and it looks like you know you will move away into something new where you start a brand new cycle with the ace of teacups and definitely getting your independence back with this uh, lady of candlesticks. You know, she is somebody also that doesn't take any nonsense from anybody. So you are now coming into your own and you are going to be standing your ground. So I'm going to just draw some cards here. Two have fallen. And I'll just draw the last one. 
So the first one is the page of Michael, which says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very carefully. So it looks like, and it says, you know, be truthful, have perspective, be analytical and blunt. So something new coming in for you uh, that's going to, um, you know, allow you to shine. You need to take on this challenge. There's a page of Gabriel coming in as well. Follow your passions. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So it, it looks like you are moving into a new phase of independence in your life. And it looks like you will be doing things that are going to bring in a lot of uh, adventure for you as well. And you've got the uh, eight of Michael that says, you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So you need to break free off these shackles that are binding you. See, this girl, uh, this woman is open the gates in order to free herself from that situation so whatever this scenario was that had you captive had you uh you know um almost in the state where where you're being um dominated and bullied by the person you are in it looks like you are going to be breaking free from it and you are going to be moving into a new cycle uh, that's going to bring you a lot more happiness a lot more adventure with the page of gabriel also you know news comes in so there might be some invitations that come in as well social invitations um even with the page of michael there might be social invitations and news that come in as well but you're definitely going to be moving away and telling the person to really take a hike from your from your life, somebody that you're not able to deal with anymore. It looks like you're going to be moving away from them and maybe moving towards somebody that is much more, you know, upstanding. Uh, you know, has got a lot a lot of authority. They might be somebody within your uh, work scenario. Um, you know, because it looks like you will be having a lot more social meetings and it's got to do with money and got to do with work. So it looks like you might be meeting somebody on the work front uh, that you find very very attractive. And, uh, you know, somebody that you uh, are ready to give up this old relationship for and move on to something new. And a lot of healing coming in. But make sure that you're asking for some advice and listening to that advice as well.